I want to run for a, a role in presidency because um, I want to get more involved in school and I want to get the school involved. Um, I've noticed over the years that I've noticed over the years that many people aren't getting involved in all the activities and so I'm trying to and what I want to do is get everyone involved and I want to help everyone out and um, the way I felt like I could do that is by um, trying to run for junior class president and getting more people to going to prom and running for vice president and hopefully getting everyone at all the activities and not just a few next year. I think what probably influenced me to run for president started in middle school. Uh, in eighth grade I was president of National Junior Honor Society and I was vice president of student council. And kind of starting that was my base. I knew I wanted to do something with a leadership role in student government. So being a freshman, obviously that's kind of hard to do, but going forward and progressing towards an upperclassman, I think I realized that a leadership position in student government would be really cool. And I feel like that I could really like help out the school. And uh, I want to accomplish a lot during this year. Uh, the things I want to focus on, again, is student involvement. Um, we have so many activities that student government puts on that so many people don't even know about. And so what I want to try and do is advertise those a uh, lot more and uh, use the skills that our student government knows now and build some more for the next year and get everyone to all the activities instead of only a few people to a few activities. Uh, I don't want to give away too many ideas about the themes that we have for showdown and the back to school dance and homecoming that we have coming up soon, but I can tell you that uh, we're starting to uh, come up with ideas and start presenting ideas to our uh, student government about what we want to focus on next year for a theme for homecoming and showdown and the back to school dance. Uh, and I think it's going to be really cool no matter what theme we pick all in all because we have a really, we have a lot of cool ideas this year. Um, in terms of further planning, I'm not exactly sure what we want to do yet, but Zach and I do have a lot of fun ideas for Mad Week and prom that we want to implement next year. What academically has helped me, I think um, choosing to do all these leadership positions that I do and um, maintaining my high standards um, for grades and trying to, or at least trying to maintain a high standard for grades. Um, I've, I'm the president of the band right now and um, I'm in DECA and TRIM and I'm in all these other clubs and activities and they're all um, just trying to help me reach that next level. Uh, so outside of school, I like to hang out with my friends. Um, Zach's kind of my best friend, so I hang out with him a lot. Uh, other than that, I did Taekwondo for 11 years, uh, and I just stopped recently, but I still like to practice that in my spare time. Uh, I, like to, I like to rock climb, I'm trying to get into golf this summer. Uh, basically just spend outdoors time when I can, and when I can, just like to hang out with my friends. Brandon Bushlack, and I'm a junior. So Brandon, what are your plans after high school? Uh, I plan on joining one of the uh, military branches. Okay, why do you want to join one of the military branches? It just seems like something cool to do in a way to serve your country. Why are you so passionate about the United States? It's just a cool country, freedom's an awesome thing, and <laughs> we're lucky to have it. <laughs> All right. uh, do you play any sports? Yeah, I play baseball. Play baseball? Uh, why do you play baseball? I don't know, it's just kind of like a one-on-one -on -one sport, a pitcher and a batter, and, you know, the, the best person wins. My name is Annie St. George, and I'm in 10th grade, and for my finals, I have a humanities final project, and I have a math final, and I also have a final scene in theater, um, so I have a lot to prepare for. I need to memorize my scene, and I also need to uh, film a scene for uh, my humanities project and write a script and I have a lot to do but I just need to work on my time management so I can get all of it done in time for finals week. Hi my name is Abigail Bohr and I'm a sophomore here at CV. So finals week is coming up and I'm kind of stressing because I have three big finals. One um, big test in math over the whole unit, a big chemistry test that's worth a lot of points, and then a humanities project. Um, and so this week, I'm just trying to prepare for everything I can, like studying, um, so I can get a good grade and fully prepare for all my finals.
Uh, this year's final was more stressful than last year's finals because I feel like I have less time because this year my brother is graduating so I have a lot of family in town so I have less time to uh, like outside of school to get things done which is stressful. <laughs> moving up ceremony is like a special thing for everyone in each grade and I think it's really cool for me to start out as a freshman like from eighth grade to freshman year and now that um this will be, that was like one of my last moving up assemblies from me going to junior to senior year which was kind of really cool to watch every year how I moved up and it was fun. I think that it will be new to not be the freshman the like the new meat in the school it's insane like we're halfway done with high school I mean <clears throat> it's hard to think in two years we'll be gone we'll be getting ready for college <laughs> It was fun, but it was also sad just realizing that people are leaving, people are moving up, and will be gone soon. I'm hoping it'll be a pretty good year. I'm, I think there are a lot of promising freshmen coming in. I think that our uh, student senator, I can't think of the name right now. I'm pretty sure it's student senate, right? Um, but I think they're going to make a lot of go really good changes for the school. On May 17th, the class of 2017 graduated from Castleview High School. You know, even, even when you're in robes, usually you're on vacation or you're taking a break from life. But today, those robes represent an accomplishment that you have made, and we are all here to celebrate that. And the students who stand before you, I certify to you that these students have met all of the requirements for graduation set forth. By the to buy a DVD School of this Board event, of go to the Castleview website by June 1st, 2017. For acceptance and conferral of their diplomas, the seniors of the class of 2017. <laughs>